<clears throat> All right, hello. Welcome back to part 13, the final part. I've done a little, uh, done some things. So I, uh, let me explain this part first. So I went and I found this truck and Mew showed me it. And in that truck it had, uh, 10 million Poke coupons. So I was able to, uh, I was able to afford a couple TMs. That was nice. Um, I just bought five of each. Um, another part is, uh, so I, I forgot and I got my wires crossed. The Realgum Tower in Gale of Darkness, I believe, has the mini games. In this game, I think it's just those battles. So I was mistaken. Um, because I went to use them to see if I could find more place to use Poke coupons. Uh, I got the Master Ball at the end of the last video. All right, let's go. So I bought a bunch of uh, Vivid Scents, give those to Magikarp, um, and Mew, uh, I'm just gonna use the Time Flute on, so. Fun stuff. Um, one thing I want to do is I think I found a code to teleport to the end of Mount Battle, which means I might be able to just snag one of the starters, uh, which would be pretty cool, so I'm gonna try that. Um, but if it doesn't work, then whatever. <laughs> He's majestic. Oh, he regained splash. Ah, oh, thank God. Can you imagine? Um, so I didn't get any XP with him, so that's why he's not gonna level up. But I will use one rare candy on him. I didn't find so I found a code that you can add like um, infinite items. Oh, I also bought uh, leftovers. Um, I thought you could buy, yeah, add infinite items to your PC, but there wasn't one for rare candies, which I'm just like, why would you? It's like the one thing you want. Bum, 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 bum. This was like a lot of fanfare for Evolution. I guess it happens so rarely in this game. We got the Red Gyarados. That is a custom shiny sprite boys and girls. That's not just a filter. One of the most iconic shinies, I think. So he did not learn Thrash or Outrage, which is concerning. So while it's cool, I think we got to him too late, because he's functionally useless. <laughs> so, well, I do appreciate you, Gyarados, and you've got a pretty hefty attack. Um, I can't use you. <laughs> you're, you're unusable. I tried to see if I could modify TMs to turn them into whatever I wanted. Uh, but I couldn't get it to work. Like, I was gonna replace Roar with, like, Flame Drawer, but that didn't work, so. We're stuck with the normal TMs we have. Uh, I will, however, use a Time Flute here. On Mew. And I should be able to teach Mew a couple of fun moves. Oh! Celebi so helping out their, their bro, Mew. Regain move transform. Oh, so he really does know transform. That's so weird. Why? All right. So let's take a look at Mew. Let's see what their moves are. Yeah, yeah, Mew. Um, transform Mega Punch, Metronome, and Psychic. Okay. Well, you're a Psychic type, so we'll keep Psychic. I believe. Mew is the only Pokemon in the game who can learn any move, but I could be proven wrong. Uh, I think Smeargle can learn any move, but that's a little different. Sure. We got Steel coverage now, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Transform. I cannot see myself ever using Transform in battle. Okay, and then we'll give you a Flamethrower. We'll tack that on there. Uh, it's so weird that Gyarados can learn that. <laughs> Gyarados can learn, like, every beam move, I think. Can you run a Mega Punch? Um, well, I had initially planned to teach it more moves. Uh, I don't think I can, though. There's, like, not any good moves for me to teach. I can teach it moves in the interim, I guess. I tried to teach Swampert Surf, and I'm very upset that I couldn't. 
deeply, deeply upset. I mean, I guess I could teach some of these moves to Gyarados, but Gyarados is a physical attacker, so it's not, like, worth it. Okay. And then Thunderbolt, I guess, right? Could teach it Earthquake. I can't really think of a good time that Mew could use Earthquake without damaging the team, though. Oh, no, wait. I guess I have coverage here, right? Maybe I won't teach it Thunderbolts. We have Psy Oh, I guess we can get rid of Psychic. But that's the, that's the only stab move. So there's Steel Wings for Steel, Fire, Ice, Psychic. Uh... Yeah, we can let it keep... No we can let it still keep Psychic, I guess. I don't know. I'm fine with it. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go swap Gyarados for Magnuson, and then uh, leave Agron behind. Unfortunately, I don't. I think we now have coverage from everything that Agron had. We have Fighting, Fire, and Steel, so he's no longer needed. I I will say Agron carried a little bit in, in the middle. He was doing a decent job. He um. Those focus punches came in handy. I do want to quickly check for items on these Pokemon that I've caught. None of them have any items, of course not. Alright. Hold on, let me do this though. That's fine. Um, I just want to quickly shift you. Make, let's put you out front. And then let's put Swampert out front, I guess. Swampert the surprise hero, I guess. Um, okay. Coolio. And then I'll teach Thunderbolts before I forget to uh, Magneton. What move am I going to get? Oh, I should teach something like Skeptile. I don't know what to teach it, though. I don't know what I can teach it. Uh, let's get rid of Spark. I don't think I need it anymore. I have Swift if I wanted to use a weaker move. Can you learn Earthquake? Yes. Hmm. Can you learn... I'm not going to be able to learn any of these. I mean, I might as well just give it Sunny Day, right? So I can do the the auto solar beams. I just I know I'm not gonna use Screech. So I just don't need to entertain anything else. I wish I had more TMs. I wish TMs were more accessible in this game. Alright, so that part's done. We've got our Master Ball, we've got that. Uh, I want to check out the Ender Coliseum. I want to see what that kid and Pyrite wanted to know. I want to try the Mount Battle thing. Let's try Mount Battle first. Hopefully I won't need an empty slot in my party. And just in case this completely crashes the game, I'm going to um, do a save first. Because the code did have an issue. It was It was trying to flag me saying don't use Master Codes when it's not a Master Code. Master Codes, for those unaware, um, in the original Action Replay, there was like a code you had to enter as like a Master Code for each game. Uh, and you would use that code, and then it would enable you to use the rest of the codes, but you don't need to do that. New Challenge. Well, that's one, so it didn't work. <laughs> Noted, I guess. Uh, Alright, well, whatever. So at the end, if you beat Mount, the Mount Battle Challenge, you get a choice of one of the three Johto stars is the, is the thing. I think it's also something you... um. I believe if you do the Mount Battle Challenge after you've purified all and caught and purified every Pokemon, that's also where you get Ho-Oh. I believe. I'm not sure, though.
All right, let's talk to this kid, see if he leads me down this quest, because I gotta unlock the snag of hideout still, too. And I want to do the deep Coliseum, but I have no idea how to do it. I have to Google that part. I don't know why the kids are still playing in the shadows. Oh, yeah, Plusle's, mm, Plusle's doing great. This is Rogue called Kale who hangs around Pirate's entrance and the Kale recently battled this creepy trainer. This trainer used some weird Pokemon. I think you should have a talk with Kale about it. Okay. This is going to lead me back to the, the doppelganger, I think. Alright. Your funeral, mate. I should look up how to, uh... Um... How to get to the undercall scene. Ugh. There's like a zombie mill tank. Also, why are your levels so high? What the fuck? What happened here? This is odd. Bulbapedia seems like it's down right now. Oh, okay. So it looks like the Undercall Seam is like the last thing you unlock in this game. Uh, I might not do it after all. <laughs> Just because it seems like a lot to get there. Um, you basically have to do everything else in the game first, and I just am not invested enough, if I'm being honest. I don't care enough. Um, all right, let's see. We got a champ. We got a mill tanks. Two, a normal types. So I need a fighting type. Here we go. I don't remember how to play this game again. Um, but yeah, so it, it looks like you have to go to. I have to do the thing I'm doing now. Then they'll tell me about. They'll tell me about one of the rangers that I missed. I guess one of the guys who. Um, so not not blue blue no, but. Uh, either the grass or the fire trainer and I can go pick up one of the other starters um, once you get that so you have to go, I think you go to team snag him hideout first and then you get another mail telling you to go to um, uh, you'll get another mail telling you to go to the my brain is not functioning uh, you'll get another one telling you to go to the uh, brain please um, it's not working. I can't figure it out. I can't remember. Oh, to the to the Pokemon Lab again. You'll fight a bunch of people again. It basically gives you a chance to fight the people that you missed. Uh, I'm. You know what I'm gonna do here? Since they seem to be leveling up pretty quickly here, I'm actually gonna go to the cheat settings. I'm gonna turn off XP gain times two and turn on times five. I don't know if it'll take effect immediately. It might not. You look so sad, oh my god. What are you flying fairy types? I don't know what you're typing is here. Um Ice Beam might work. Yeah, Mew's not really uh, as strong as I want them to be yet. It really does look like a zombie mill tank and I can't get over it. It's so weird. Alright, let's see if it worked or if I have to uh, close the game and restart for it to take effect. Uh, it looks similar. So I'm not sure. And an Umbreon. Interesting. Oh cool, you'll be healed in like three turns. Great. I mean, he's pretty fast, so it's got that going for it. I like Mew's attack animation. It's so cute. But yeah, I wasn't expecting to get the shit slapped out of me by Kale, of all people. You know, these, these fighting attacks just aren't hitting like they need to. I thought that might happen. 
I'm sorry, Mew. Brother. Uh, okay. Let's try and revive Mew so they still get XP. Yeah, this is tough. It's a bit tougher than I thought it would be. I didn't think the uh, the end game everyone would all of a sudden become my level. I never thought I would have to turn on the like times five XP again. Yet here we are. Kale using faint attack at level like 67 does make me feel better because it tells me that Umbreon really doesn't learn any better dark moves. <laughs> the whole reason I never I really like didn't mess with them was because uh, Espeon gets Psychic, which is a devastating attack. But I'm going to keep going with the mid-tier ones. Poor Kale. He's a custom NPC sprite and everything. He's a shadow Pokemon Quilava. The trainer's name was... I forget. I did say something about the Snagum hideout, though. Okay, so I guess I was wrong. I guess this is the one. Um, I'm already on the right track. I don't know when the Togetic thing happens, then. I must have gone to the Under Coliseum at some point. I have vague memories of using Tyranitar there. I guess I must have kept going with this stuff. I know I never got ho though. So I never got that far. Uh, I don't know. We get some mysteries here. I'm gonna heal up. Uh, I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna close the game and reload it. See if the uh, the XP fixes itself. Just in case. Just wanna make sure we're getting a bonkers amount of XP so that everyone levels up super nicely. Oh no, oh man, oh man, you hate to see it. Alright, now come back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Is that please? Genius sonority. What do they make now? Have they do they make something else? I wonder how successful these games are in Nintendo's eyes. Like, I wonder if Nintendo considers po the two Pokemon Coliseum games successful. Since we've never heard anything about them again, I'm inclined to believe they don't. Uh, okay. So we'll keep moving there. Yeah, I guess I will do all of this. I'll, I'll, I'll mess around for a little bit. I had thought it was more of like a choose-your-own-adventure kind of deal. Where they basically, like, um... Where you had like three different things you could do and you could like choose what order to do them in, but I don't think that's the case. Oh my god, I don't want to fight you. Willy, I, li I literally thought you were going to lead me to the Togetic guy. I forget how to trigger this. Oh, you know what, Willy? This is fine. I'll fight you, dude. <laughs> I'll fight you, man. Don't worry about it. So Hoot Hoot is excited. And Delcaddy doesn't have feet. They just have legs that just sort of like... I don't know. Shape off at the end. Alright. Um, I don't think it really matters. Oh, I meant to teach Ice Beam to... Uh, I meant to teach Ice Beam to... Uh, Swampert. I don't want to use Blizzard anymore. I want something more reliable. Ironically, this is only going to hit you. So I just wasn't paying attention. Mew, I'm sorry! Nice. I don't like this like weird active hoot hoot. It's an owl. It's supposed to be stoic. Why would they choose to do this? I have so many questions. Bum, 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 
Bum, bum. But yeah, you're tough, real tough. You stomped us good. Yeah, I did. Don't ever fight me again. I think this is where you learn about it. Criminal Syndicate is seeking world domination. It's thought to be linked to the rash reports of various regions of the Bishop. Okay. I thought that's what it was, but I guess not. <laughs> Why, if I were ten years younger, I'd grab hold and wouldn't leave your side. Jesus Christ, lady. I don't care that you're ten years older. <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, no. What? Huh? All right. Uh, let's just go. Snag him, hide out. Should be a couple stragglers here with the shadow Pokemon that I stole at one point, or uh, or I didn't steal, I should say. I don't think an XP. I don't think there's an XP share in this game. Now that I'm thinking about it. It is weird that you have to wait this long to come here. Quilava Trainer. You don't want me to tell you that the Shadow uh, Quilava Trainer's name is Rosso. Uh, please take care. Thanks, I guess, Kale. You know what's more identifying than him being named Rosso is the fact that the dude looks like a fucking Power Ranger because he's wearing a bright red jumpsuit. I think that's more helpful, Kale. You, you left that out. I know that, but you left it out. We got a little save station here, but no health. Okay. Oh, well. Well, this isn't you again. You had your way with my party before, but not this time. Don't don't say it that way. Don't 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 make it sound so malicious. This upside down smile. A Registeel? Registeel actually looks pretty good in this game. You know, it is funny, I hadn't really noticed before. I forgot to teach my speed again. I'm a fucking moron. Uh, I hadn't really noticed it before, but uh, Mew, Mew's call is like almost identical to Mewtwo's. What am I doing? Do I not play Pokemon? I meant to use fire or I meant to use flamethrower. Idiot! I thought we would have to survive through that. To be honest. What does Endeavor do? Gains power if target's HP is higher than users. That's fine. I appreciate that you're still trying to learn new things, because learning is important, Swampert, but no. What are you trying to learn? Ancient power? I mean... Accuracy is... Accu you know, actually, accuracy isn't that bad on this. Um, for some reason, I thought the accuracy on this move was shit. Uh, we do need rock coverage. Uh, let me let me get rid of Ice Beam. As strange as that sounds, because uh, I'm going to teach it to Swampert anyway. I should have turned Thunderbolt in the first place. I might replace Psychic with Thunderbolt. Snorlax. This big Palooka. I cannot believe you hit with Zap Cannon. That's nonsense. Oh my god. Aha! <laughs> All part of the plan. Alright, I'm gonna be brick breaking Snorlax for a while. Push through the paralysis if you can. That did more than I thought it would. Block. What? I didn't know that was a move. 
I love you spin. It's so fucking funny every time. Oh my god, you're such a bulky fucking monster. I keep trying to kill Snorlax. I don't know what their last Pokemon is. I don't know who I haven't caught things from either, so I can't really, like, prepare correctly, if that makes sense. Ooh, a Typhlosion. That's pretty cool. We accept those here. Something about Mew spewing a flame tower just feels wrong. You physically can't hit Swampert with this, because it's a thunder move. Also, isn't Zap Cannon's accuracy supposed to be like 50? Because this is insane. Sorry, Diplosion. Big fan. Also, your uh, shiny form makes you look like your Hisuian form, which is interesting. Oh yeah, that five times XP is working now. Boy, is it working. Mew, no! Alright, another brick break for the road, I guess. Oh my god. Yes, dude. I'm here for five times XP. We're in the end game. I don't really care what happens here, so I don't mind being a little overpowered. Lose up to your reputation. Dude, I've already beaten you. You should know this. Let's, uh... Because I have nothing else to give. Let's give Mew leftovers. Uh, I will give them my only full restore because I don't care. Um, before I forget... Let's mess around with the TMs a little bit. Ice Beam. Yes, two Swampert's. We're gonna get rid of Blizzard. Getting rid of Blizzard. So no good be. Uh, all right. Thunderbolt. I'm gonna have to decide on this one. I, I can't tell if I want to keep Psychic because I want to keep Mew in, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know if that means I can't do this. Maybe I should get rid of Steel Wing. The problem with Steel Wing is I can't get it again if I want it. What is Steel actually good against again? Besides Fairy? Offense. Uh, Steel. It's good against Rock, which I can use Water for. And it's good against ice, which I can use fire for. And then fairy. Okay, we don't need a steel move then. Not not for many, many years when we need a steel move. So we're good there. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of steel. Let's do it. This is an easy choice. Wow, so steel was kind of use, useless as a uh, offensive type for a while. Because they didn't add a... Uh, fairy types until, what, Gen 5? Was it Gen 5 or was it Gen 6? It was super late, so like what the fuck did you do with seal types for? I guess seal types like their defensive typing is very good. So it's more of like, you'd use seals like a secondary type, like Magneton. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm ready. All right, <laughs> you got more hints? Shadow Pokemon list. Analyze the Shadow Pokemon list again and discover it's six more. Additional, uh, the additions are Tyranitar, Mischievous, Slugma, Smeargle, Absol, and Heracross. It's another update if I can find any more. I don't know what that means. What? Because those aren't the ones those aren't the ones I already could have caught, right? Oh, I see. Some of them are ones that he knows about. So I must have missed these. I don't know where the fuck Smeargle is. I did know where Tyranitar was supposed to be. We purposely chose to kill him. That was Wishcash. Um, 
Okay. I mean, he caught the higher cross one, so where is he getting his info from? What is, what is he doing? I mean, he's so weird about it. Yeah, so I only missed the... Uh, I don't know where the Smeargle is. I do know that, um... There's a... Is it Smeargle or is it Shuckle? That's at the bottom of the Coliseum. I thought it was a Shuckle. It might be a Smeargle. Also, I don't know what happened to the frames there. Them giving me elixirs does not instill me with confidence. It tells me that they're like, Hey, you're going to have to fight through here and we are not going to heal you. Hope you brought items, idiot. Also, there's so much trash in this whole area. It's trash. Keep waiting for it to get jumped down on. You've been playing here all over the place. Playtime's over. We're actually the same sorry state as, as the snag of machine lab. Yeah, a lot of damage happened here considering I only exploded like one thing. How did you guys live? Shouldn't I be like a genocider at this point? Not genocider, but... Oh no. Sir. Sir, this is excessive. Ah, oh, fuck. Black Ray cause it does look really cool. I don't think I've ever used a red quasi. Is it just pure dragon? I didn't really mess with Emerald. I played Ruby a lot, but I by the time Emerald came out, I was like kind of already getting sick of Pokemon. My brother played a lot of Emerald. Um, yeah, I didn't play Emerald. I didn't play uh, uh, Diamond and Pearl. I didn't really come back to Pokemon until Black and White. I don't even remember what, what made me want to go back to it. I think I was just like bored one day and decided to pick it up. The black and white was fine. It wasn't like amazing by any means. Also, that X and Y were just okay. The addition of Mega Pokemon is pretty cool. I do like the blue electrode. That's pretty rad. Oof, owie, my bones. My dragon bones. Kangaskhan. Yeah, this is 100% the N64 model. I've seen it do that same, like, yell thing. I don't know why it keeps licking its lips. I hate it. I've seen it do that yell thing, um, in, uh, Pokemon Stadium. I don't know. Let's try Psychic and Electro see how that works. Endure, huh? Also, his... Oh, my God. This is gonna suck. I still don't understand why self-destruct and explosion both exist. I think explosion's supposed to be like a stronger version. Oh, actually, that's pretty good teamwork. Using Endure and then him using self-destruct. I guess it ensures you survive, but like... I don't know if it was your best strategy. Got that one HP left. Endure only works once, right? Oh no, wow. I didn't know that. Endure, like, will literally keep you alive. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what to use on these. I'm just gonna use Angel Power, I guess. Well, I only have five of those. Let's use Thunderbolt. You think Kangas kind of is like rock or ground or something? It's just normal. Oh my god, the baby! Oh, it's like flung out of the pouch. That's horrific. Bum bum. Wickedly strong. Yeah, dude. be this tough. No wonder you're famous. Am I famous at this point? I should be, but just clarifying. I like this remix of the theme. It's pretty neat. Is this a dead end? Because I'm going to be upset. More rare candy is pretty cool. No, oh, it sure is, isn't it? I do like the revelation where it's like Snagum, which is just like this weird team. 
It's like, even though we all dress the same and all have the same thing, we're actually the same team as Cypher. Because, uh, you know, don't, don't think too hard about it. Okay, I guess. Sure. I don't care. Or float your boat, man. There's so many, like, weird nooks and crannies here. It's a normal ass rider over there. You're not part of this team. What are you doing here? Somewhere. Um. Gotta be some, some, some somewhere. Some Pokeballs like Ops Pokemon. Do you have some? I mean, yes, but you can't have them. So this dude's just like a looter. Meganium and Mr. Mime. Interesting. I don't know why people give Meganium so much crap. Oh, God. Green Mr. Mime is cursed. Oh. Oh, I hate it. Ugh. Um. But, uh, like, Meganium and Pokemon Snap was awesome. It was the most loved Meganium's, like, ever gotten. But also, like, Meganium is just, like, an okay Pokemon in general. It's just pure grass. Um, I don't really have any good counters against Psychic attacks, unfortunately. I can burn this Meganium, though. I feel like Mew should do more damage than it does. I feel like its stats should be should be better. It doesn't feel like it's like that under leveled at this point. It just feels like its stats are like gutted, and I can't really figure out why. Like it's a legendary. It should absolutely be outperforming Swampert, even ten levels below. Or at least be on par ten levels below. Don't really have an answer for Mr. Mime. I could swap in Umbreon, but that seems like a excessive amount. Sure, hydro pumping it. Um. Mew mew. Like, come on, that's a stab move. Espeon would have gotten that kill. Oh my God, hydro pump. play. Oh, interesting. I don't know why you would choose to do that, but okay. I might have to figure out something to do. Or figure out something about this Mr. Mime. I might have to, like, actually swap in Umbreon. And a muck, huh? Psychic can take care of that, that's fine. Definitely not a waste of a move. So I got the paralysis. I guess I also have to forget that, uh, or I also forget that Espeon has the, um, the Twisted Spoon, which I'm sure does some, a decent amount of work. I'll shoot some stack comparisons, though. Cool. Just role-playing three times in a row, huh? I am shocked that Mew isn't getting these kills. How much were these item-boosting uh, moves doing? Oh, I have a couple moves that auto-hit. I think Swift might be the only one I have still. Uh, just fucking go for it, I guess. Also, I don't know how this how this works. Uh, cause I know so I know thunder during rain dance. I th I know the accuracy increases. Is it guaranteed to hit in rain dance, and uh, when it's raining out, or is it just go take its accuracy from like seventy to hundred? I've never been completely clear on that. Maybe I should, um, remove the Twisted Spoon for now, from Espeon. I could just swap in and use Espeon instead. 
I guess, I, like, I want to level up Mew, but I'm also, like, I think Espeon will just one-shot a little better. Plus, Espeon's, like, my, my favorite here. I've talked myself into it. Where'd you find those? Over a long journey. No, Swampert stays in. Although, Mew did have pretty good coverage, but the coverage doesn't matter if they're not one-shotting it. Is really where I'm at. I can always switch into Mew as well. I don't have, I'm, not, I'm not like forced into this team. I just think it's probably the most efficient team I have. Dude, staring at a wall. More power to you. Ooh, nice. Some of your antics. Party's over. Brighton. Farfetch and Hoppit. Oh, Farfetch looks pretty good. I like how I slowly gravitated using Swamper at the most. Because he had the most coverage. I think for Espeon, I usually, at least current Espeon, I usually run um, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and uh, usually another Psychic move like Psybeam to make up for it. Uh, I think I use Future Sight. Um, but I guess I'm not really... I can't really do that in the past gen without Dazzling Gleam, but I'm sure there are moves like I can use. Like Hyper Beam is a good addition, I think. No, not the leak, no! That's so sad! Oh, Marie Puka. So I was going to encounter any trainers with the uh, Shadow Pokemon. I wonder if they just stopped spawning if you caught them. Because I did catch a lot of them. But I guess like 27 out of however many I have, so... Not like I was slacking, I only killed a few. I'm afraid to attack Marie Pet on because I don't want to get stacked. Glad you lived, just so you could curse me with this for future battles. Well, guess what, bitch? I'm not the only one paralyzed here. Haha! -ha! I wonder how Synchronize works in the um, in the modern gen now. Like, I wonder if um, uh, I'm trying to use my brain here. I wonder if. Like, I wonder if, like, a Pokemon... Because I, I think, like, most electric Pokemon are immune to, um... To paralysis now. Or, like, fire Pokemon are immune to burn and stuff like that. I wonder how Synchronize works in those situations. Does it override their immunity and, like, give it to them anyway? Because otherwise, I feel like that would be a pretty big nerf to Synchronize. I'm curious. Also, a funny thing is... So, I know poison types are immune to poison. I think are supposed to be. Um, unless I made that up. In which case, I hope it's not the case. Um, but my big thing with that is I wonder if... That almost like doesn't make sense in a way. Because there's so many different kinds of poisons. Just like having... Like being immune to one doesn't mean you're immune to all of them. That being said, for the sake of a simple game like Pokemon, I guess it's fine. There's one of those things I was thinking about. And I was like, wait a minute. But other poisons exist. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. This whole place is a fucking maze. Oh, this is the, uh, this is where I stole the thing. I'm not gonna bother talking to him, because I know he's not the one who has Qualava. I wanna finish this up. 
There's just so many random dudes here. Just chilling in some fucking ruins. Good thing they don't have the I spy thing. They don't like target you when you look at them. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's get some free Pokeballs off the ground. There he is. Hey, friendo. Well, Nick, it's been a while. That's in the mayor's house in Phoenix City. You quit Team Snag him. There's nothing here for you. You should come out to see me, Rosso. Foo-hoo-hoo. That's the case. I better not disappoint you. All right, let's see if Quilava is really a Quilava. I'm willing to bet it's not. Has like a 1 in 300 and something chance. Slack off and Metadite. It. Oh, it's fucking Slack off. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, okay. Sure. Why not? Why the fuck not? Cool. 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 Fun, even. Yep. Yep, thanks. I knew. If you could believe it. If you could believe me. Or if you could believe it, when I saw the level 30 Pokemon, I figured it out. Uh, let's make sure we do this right. Mm. I wonder if we'll catch it. We got it, yes! Alright, phew. It's a load off my mind. That's impressive. Kill the psychic type with a psychic move. In one hit. Nice. Rosso, you had a real stellar team here. It was really touch and go. I can't believe I beat you, to be honest. Just built differently. Is using Hyper Beam on a Remorade a little bit extreme? I don't know. They're pretty tough. Slash on Persian is actually kind of rough. Because it's a uh, stab and slash is a very high crit chance, but when slash doesn't crit, it's no longer uh, very effective anymore. Oh god, it's tongue. I feel like I am killing some of these Pokemon. I don't feel great about it. It's not right. How could my Quilava be defeated? Yeah, Quilava. Right. Yes. Don't snag my Shadow Quilava while well, you can. There's still more Shadow Pokemon trainers that are Shadow. I, I mean, I guess. Ooh, secret exit. That definitely wasn't here before, but okay. Sure. All right. Probably get another mail telling me where to go next. Yeah. Analyze the Shadow Pokemon list again. Discovered six more. The additional additions are Ursaring, Skipling, Quagsire, Tropius, Skarmory, and Sunflora. Look for more updates. I guess he slowly just like fills out your list for you. But like. A lot of these are forced fights, so like, why would I be surprised by this? I have no idea where that Ursaring is, actually. Um, or the Smear Smeargle. They must be in the Colosseum or something. But, uh, that's gonna be a wrap on, uh, Pokemon Colosseum, I think. I didn't really, I, like I said, I thought that it was like a choose-your-own-adventure thing for the, uh, for the end game. I didn't realize it was, uh, um... I didn't realize that it was like a a line of a story, and I always, and I said it from the top. I didn't. I don't think I was gonna go for all the shadow Pokemon. So nice little bonus part. Not as uh, climactic as the last one, but I think it was uh, still a good time. I had fun. Uh, who knows? I might come back to it one day. I don't think I will. 
Should I ever get the urge to play Coliseum specifically again? I could try and pick up from this and just try and figure out the rest of the Shadow Book one. But uh, thank you for watching. I enjoyed the, uh, doing this series. Like I said in the last part, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to uh, do next with Pokemon. It might be a little break. For a while, I might switch over between Digimon Yu-Gi-Oh! and something else. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, let me know in the comments. What did you think of the series overall? And uh, like I said, I, I did confirm there are codes for uh, Gale of Darkness, so I'll do that eventually. I just need a break from uh, a game like this. I need the I need the, like the craving to play it again. So uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe closer to uh, the launch of uh, Book One Violet or Scarlet. Who knows? Maybe not. I don't know because that's only what five months away. It's, it's not like that's that far away. So we'll see. All right, later, Gators.